The first term of a geometric series, ooh, series, okay, that's interesting, is 14, and the sixth term is 448. Calculate the value of r for, the, for only two marks. Okay, so what we can do is we can use, uh, they're saying that the sixth term, so when, we, when we're talking about a specific term, you're not gonna use this formula. They not, they, I know they said a series over there, which is that over there, but within that question, they're saying that the sixth term, so we use the TN formula for geometric, which is this one over here, and they're saying that it has a value of 448, okay, um, A, R, and then N is the sixth term, so that's five. But now they said that the first term is 14. So A is the first term, so that's 14. So I can just do that. There we go. Now I'm gonna divide both sides by 14. And we get 32. Okay, now you could use logs here, or you could use the shift fact on your calculator, shift fact of 32, and what you would find is that's two to the five. There we go. So these two top parts are already the same. So the only way that this side and this side can be equal is if the bottom parts are the same. Therefore, R must be two. So R is two. This next question is just worded in a weird way, but it's actually very easy. It just says, determine the number of consecutive terms that must be added to the first six terms of the series in order to obtain a sum of that. Now, you can actually ignore you can say, uh, determine the number of terms of the series in order to do that. Let's do that part first, and then I will come back and explain how to modify our answer, okay? So they're just saying the sum is 114674. So because there's the sum, we've got two different formulas you may choose. You could choose whatever you like. You can choose this one, or you could choose um, where you put the R's first. So you either put the R's first, or you put the ones first. Students always ask me, yeah, but sir, doesn't it make a difference which one we choose? My teacher said we should, nope, blah, 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 blah. Uh, just choose any one of those that you like. Okay. So um, I'm going to just choose this one. What is wrong is if you put a one minus R at the top and an R minus one at the bottom. Keep it the same. That's correct. Okay. They said that the sum uh, is that. So you say one, one, four, six, seven, four. A, we already found out was 14. R, we already found out as two. N, we don't know. There we go. Okay, now, what I would do here is I would just say one minus two, which is negative one. So we could say one, one, four, six, seven, four equals to that over that. I would then multiply this number to there and divide this number down there. So you're going to end up with 114674 multiplied by negative 1 over 14. And then on the right, we're just going to be left with that. I would then go ahead, type that on my calculator. And that gives negative 8191. Okay, now you can do this however you like, but I'm gonna bring this to that side, and I'm gonna bring that to that side. So we end up with two to the n equals to one plus eight one nine one, and so we end up with two to the n equals to eight one nine two. Shift fact, you this can shift fact this one, or you could use uh, logs if you and logs are like having a thing, or I don't know, if maybe that's your thing, then go for it. No judgment here. I'm just more of a shift fact kind of guy. So 2n is equal to 2 to the 13, and therefore n would be 13. Now that's not the answer, but we're very close. So what that tells us is that there are 13 terms to be able to have an answer of that. So it just says here, how many terms must we add to the first six terms? Well, if there's 13 terms altogether, then if they've already counted the first six, well then we'll just add another seven terms. So we can just say now, 
13 minus 6 must be 7 extra terms that we need to add. And there are other ways you could have done that question, okay? So this question says, if the first term of another series is 448 and the sixth term is 14, calculate the sum to infinity of the new series. Okay, so this question has absolutely nothing to do with that. Oh wait, it does. I mean, maybe. Because that's... Here they're saying the first term is 14, but uh, do we need to know? Um, I think, okay, wait, let me just erase this. Yeah, because then you see we don't have the R value. Okay, so the, this, this one was, the first term was 14, and then the R value was, what was the R value for this one? It was 2. So that means 28 times by 2 is 56, times by 2 is 112, 224 and then 448. That's what that term was. That was the original. Now this new one has a first term of 448. Ah, so it's just gonna go down. You see? So that's, so, so, so what is the R value? Well, the R value is always this number divided by this number, so 224. Don't say negative two or something like that. It's actually gonna be a half. Okay, so the R value is a half. So we can use the sum to infinity formula now. So A would be not this A. A is now for this sequence, which is 448. R of this sequence is a half. See, here the R value is 2 because you're going from 14 to 28 to 56. So you're multiplying. Here you're multiplying by a half because the numbers are getting smaller. Okay? And so if you had to go work this out, uh, it's going to end up doubling, so you're going to get 896 as your final answer.